Hi everybody, it's so good to be back with you again. I miss you all and I can't wait to see you again and so hopefully in the near future we'll be together again. But until then, I would love to read this story to you. It's called Brave As Can Be, A Book of Courage. And it was written by Joe Wittick and these adorable illustrations were done by Christine Rusi. When I was little, I was afraid of everything. Little creaks and squeaks and booming thunderclaps. Teeny creepy crawlies and monstrous pointy fangs. I had a pile of fears as big as a mountain. Ooh, goodness gracious, that is a big mountain. And when I was scared, I would shiver as if I was outside in the snow. I would shut my eyes tight and I'd clap my hands over my ears. I was closed up against the cold as if I were in an igloo. Oh no. And so sometimes when you're scared, you want to just get a nice comfortable blanket and just kind of hide. I used to be scared of the dark. Where there was a was there a monster lurking in the shadow? But now I have a bright night light and my super powered pajamas, which are a hundred percent danger proof. So we've learned that she's no longer afraid of the dog. The neighbor's dog can be scary too, with his loud barks and his thousands of teeth. My mom says the dog is just saying hello. Holding her hand tightly, I say hello right back. So the little girl is practicing safety. She's grabbing mom's hand when she was afraid. That's a great choice. Once I let go of mom's hand and poof, she disappeared. Oh no, but I didn't panic. Sometimes moms get lost. Like a brave explorer, I spotted her through the the crowd, but I'm pretty sure she took a few deep breaths before she started searching to get her back to that calm place. I'm in a galaxy far, far away and heading straight toward a fuzzy yarn monster. Oh no, quick, wake up. It was just a nightmare. My dreams scare me too sometimes. Oh goodness, me too. And I am always so happy when I wake up from one of those nightmares. Trick or treat. <laughs> On Halloween, it's my turn to be scary. With a cackling laugh and a pointy hat, I scare my friends and my friends scare me. So that's the one time of the year that being scary is funny. Sometimes it's fun to be scared. I love when dad tells me my favorite spooky stories over and over again. Once upon a time. Ooh. When thunder booms and lightning flashes, I used to clench my teeth and my blankie. But now I tell my little sister, it's just a storm. Let's sing a song to give ourselves courage. So now she's being helpful because she's teaching her little sister some strategies and singing is a great strategy when you're scared. My teacher can be very strict and sometimes parents can too. When she is angry, her big black eyes make her look like an owl. But that's my own special secret. Imagining her feathers makes me feel brave. Well, we all get angry sometimes and so that does present times when we're a little bit afraid when our friends or our teachers or our parents are angry with us so we have to be careful beetles and butterflies lizards and ladybugs they slither and crawl and creep but to them i am a giant if i'm scared of them think how scared they must be of me and that is so smart because you're about thousand times bigger, a million times bigger. The I'm older now and my mountain of fears doesn't look so huge. In fact, now that I'm big, 
It looks very small and D. That's our Brave as Can Be, a book about courage. Hope you guys have a great day. Look forward to talking to you later about Brave as Can Be.